So good evening everyone, this is Son, Dr. Sonpal Dagash, ENT and Hadenic Surgeon. Uh, this video is specifically for those uh, who are opting for a surgical branch in NEET PG 2024 or who are, uh, who are enrolling this counselling. So I want to just uh, uh, tell you the practical approach of choosing a surgical branch. First of all, this is video for only for those for who are uh, done and dusted with the thinking about choosing a surgical speciality or not. So if you are into it and you are uh, opting for a surgical speciality, I will tell you a few points uh, that uh, you should uh, keep in mind before uh, keeping your order. So first of all, I'm, I want to talk about the future uh, scopes of all the surgical branches in uh, general so first of all starting with the orthopedics it's a great branch and uh, every male uh, surgeons is always in ortho and everything there is there is, uh, there is uh, the main issue is being uh, about the saturation and um, so you are uh, pure and so if you are not in a high volume center where trauma is it's like uh, you will have to do some extra thing like you will have to do some fellowship in spine uh, arthroscopies, knee replacements, so that that thing, um, <coughs> niche thing, you have to learn to get uh, to um, make a mark in ortho, especially in tier one and two cities even. Uh, with the basic ortho things, you can um, run a trauma center in tier three cities, but uh, it's quite difficult now in tier one and two cities. Next, talking about general surgery, general surgery is by far the most uh, uh, wide variety branch. In every surgical specialty, because all uh, every amount every MCH is available, uh, is uh, available and eligible for general surgery. Even if you don't like, don't like the work of the abdomen laparoscopy and all, you can further do MCH and uh, choose your own further subspecialty or superficiality later on. So uh, picking up general surgery, you won't regret actually. Even if you don't like MCH and move on. Next, talking about ear head and neck. See, before uh, the recent notification of uh, PGMER 2023, there was only one MCH in NEET SS available in uh, ENT, that is MCH head and neck oncology. But, uh, and uh, uh, after this notification, there are already three MCH available. There is neurosurgery, plastic surgery, and surgical oncology along with the MCH head and neck onco. So, there are four MCH available in uh, this uh, ENT head and neck. And uh, second thing, before even this notification also, in AIMS and Central Institutes, uh, ENT is already eligible for uh, plastic surgery, plastic and restrictive, then uh, surgery and head neck oncology. So there is uh, already these three uh, specialties eligible in uh, INISS. So talking about ENT and the future sp uh, scopes and all. So uh, <coughs> if you are getting a general surgery, and you are not decided uh, that you are not specifically interested in any one part of the body so you can choose the necessary but if your rank is not providing that liberty to you okay, uh, that you cannot decide now that you uh, your choice then uh, uh, you have to pursue your interest in head and neck so if, um, head and neck the general uh, ENT covers the whole head and neck uh, pathologies and everything uh, above the clavicle and uh, that so i'm uh, talking about future scopes for mch as available and plus the new things uh, are coming up like most of the surgeons are doing fellowship in skull based neck oncology and even, even if you don't want to pursue an mch you can uh, sub specialize within the amount of variety of surgeries you are able to do in head and neck region because it also covers the skull based neurosurgery part the plastic surgery of face very part of parotid thyroid dissections oncology parents are in angiofibromas then um, uh, the oncological condition that larynx cancer and other oncological condition of head and neck whole head and neck so it will depend on um, about uh, on the your skills of what type and variety of surgeries you are capable to do so i will keep it with the ortho actually because there is also a saturation in tier 1-2 series but I have been noticing that there is much saturation as like in ortho and uh, actually the amount of surgeries that uh, are doing and the senior surgeons are doing and our variety is very less very few surgeons are good enough to do every variety in head and neck so if you are very much interested enough and you are able to cope up with the competition and all ENT is a great branch so i will keep it with ortho 
somewhere around. But general surgery will be my first pick. Then when comes gynecology. Gynec and obs will depend on what area you come from. Especially if you are a male, then it's it's your choice. Personally, I don't feel anything uh, much interesting if you are specifically interested in surgical branch. There is no wide, uh, there is no wide variety of surgeries available in gynec. Like it's uh, OPD plus um, surgical branch. So there are only mainly two surgeries. One there is cesarean section and another it is hysterectomy. Hysterectomy either you do by lap, either you do vaginal, either you do, either you do total abdominal. And um, ovarian cancer and uh, onco things are coming up, but uh, there are there are surgeries. of work of uh, this uh, oncology. You can do even MCH in uh, the gynec onco and fellowship also. In so it, if I'm specifically talking about the surgical interest, if you are specifically interested in surgical works, then gynec it will not be worth as a male. It general surgery or ortho or ENT will be. A better option if you want uh, want to a wide variety of surgeries in uh, in per se so uh, if you're a female it's a great choice uh, depends on how hectic your life you want to uh, pursue so it will depend on that further I'm talking about uh, ophthalmology ophthalmology is by far I think um, most micro surgery among all five surgical specialties available in NPG. So the learning curve is high. And I personally believe that um, ophthalmology requires lots of patience and uh, fine work, hand skills, finger, finger skills especially. And uh, so it will depend on your interest. If you want to get a feel of a major surgery, and then you can avoid ophthalmology. It's, it doesn't mean that it is not tough. Is high. The stakes are high and uh, you will have to prove your worth and uh, <clears throat> so if you want to be a surgeon and do a 9 to 5 job without any emergency and you are a female you can definitely choose uh, ophthalmology and uh, if you are um, doubtful being a female between uh, surgical specialty gynae and ophthal it will solely depend on your uh, emergency and lifestyle, hectic lifestyle, what you want. So if you want a hectic lifestyle and you want to that surgeons feel then gynecology if you're female and uh, if you are and you want a relaxed lifestyle plus that surgeon kind of feel also. then uh, ophthalmology is a great choice. So I will tell you uh, in nutshell order is general surgery and ortho and ENT you can decide uh, by yourself and then I will rate gynecology just because it has uh, lots of uh, variety of options in that income source and income is very high. You can generate uh, lots of income. Even after selecting one subspeciality within gynecologs. So it provides you that uh, liberty of working and uh, so much without even surgeries also. But as a surgeon, I will rate it last even after ophthalmology because it's kind of a simpler surgeries and uh, there is no complex thing running anywhere. So that feel won't be there. Even in ophthalmology, you will get the feel because it's kind of, quite, kind of a complex and micro surgery. So then, uh, I, and then lastly, I will choose physical speciality if I want to choose as a male then ophthalmology. But now I'm talking about male versus female. If I wanted to pursue a surgical branch as a female, I would always choose a, uh, gynecologs and I'm not uh, uh, categorifying anything like that but like it's uh, it's default and that will happen in you and fetch you more patients as a female being a general surgeon being a ENT uh, gynecologist we will get a natural um, natural that uh, <coughs> You will fetch patients naturally. So, if a female is going to choose a surgical branch, I will read kinetic and objects first. Then the second of that, if, if she wants a relaxed lifestyle. But if she doesn't uh, uh, likes the relaxed lifestyle and all, if, if she wants to hustle around and all, then general surgery in ENT are best picks next after kinetic and ops. So, Learning curve, I have talked. Money as is only remaining. It totally depends on your skills. Like uh, potential wise, um, I guess gynec and obs has no comparison in all five surgical specialties. I'm not talking about uh, if you further specialize like in MCH and all fellowship and all. We cannot com compare that with the um, 
Ghani can also. I am talking about the specialty. If you want to specialize further, Ghani can also provide you the, I guess, highest income um, amount of that. Uh, and, uh, then I will uh, I will rate uh, general surgery because the number of cases are high, and uh, if you are you can do freelancing also, and. Uh, um, the uh, maybe you can um, just get uh, basic cases like hernia, hydrocele, and um, coli, and then um, appendix. But still, the quantities are high, so you can earn the earning potential. I'm not talking about jobs. Jobs generally, gynae, uh, surgery, ortho, ENT, and ophtha. Starts with around 2 to 2.5 anywhere in periphery. Uh, it may happen that uh, sometimes gynae gets upper hand about all the surgical specialties because this requirement in periphery is high. So you can might get uh, even 3.5 in starting af just after passing out in, as a fresher in a high volume center where uh, they need um, uh, and section surgeons and hysterectomies are high. Uh, so only in ophtha. Uh, you might get around starting in 1.5, like 1.75, even in ENT also. But uh, because their learning curves are high and long, uh, that's why they are not getting initially salary. But later on, uh, they uh, match up with general surgery, ortho, or gynae. Uh, because uh, after once you gain experience, you will do wide variety of surgeries, especially in ENT. Uh, the ortho doesn't provide very wide amount of surgeries, but still, if you do, it will provide you enough scope up with everything and I'm not talking about this private uh, setup private setup um, I guess every branch has equal potential it depends on your uh, need of treatment you are providing. for one surgery even patients if trust you then then can for one surgery so you can charge up to one lakh 1.5 two lakhs anything but uh, depends on your expertise and the trust you build around uh, area everything so in all uh, in nutshell this is the case and uh, if you are not sure enough and lastly if you are not sure about any such but you are uh, you want to be a surgeon take up by closing guys any day if you are getting this general surgery second number if you are not sure about any surgical branch but you want to do mch later then uh, ent will provide you four mch later so after uh, general surgery variety of uh, that is um, scopes further for doing further su superficialization will be provided by ENT only. So by that mean you can um, choose ENT and later on you can decide if you want to be an ENT and headache surgeon if you are good enough, competent enough, if you feel like the and that you can do do and do good things in this only. So you can stay as an ENT surgeon but if you want that uh, uh, you feel that you are not good enough in after uh, for the special in plastic neuro anything surgical onco head neck onco so uh, about uh, talking about varieties and all first general surgery then ENT then you can choose ortho as a male and gynae and then ophthalmology so this was my pick and best of luck for the counseling thanks